Howdy. How are you doing? So in this video, I just felt inclined to uh, release the messages from your spirit guides. I always talk about your spirit guides, ancestors, and all that in my normal general and love readings. And I figured why not just start doing some spirit guide messages as well for the zodiac sign. So, hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Gemini. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your Virgin Spirit Guide messages. Now, Gemini, I also do your weekly general and your weekly you versus them reading for your zodiac sign, which I'll leave a link to, Gemini, over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. But when it comes to any of my readings, Gemini, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective and just demand reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. And if you find some cards that resonate with you, Gemini, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments. And if you do find a card that res is of resonance to you, I would really appreciate it, Gemini, for you to take the time to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help out my channel a lot. And I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take the time to do that for me, Gemini. And finally, before we get into this reading, this reading here is just to give you some food for thought, Gemini, some perspective to consider as you go throughout your days. I'm not here to make a decision in your life because ultimately it's your life to live, not mine. So with all that in mind, let's get into this reading. Back of the deck energy for you, Gemini, is the star card. It makes sense just because of these other cards that I'm looking at here. But uh, let's get into this reading actually with the overall energies because I, it'll make a lot more sense with the star card. But let's actually break down the star card real quick, actually. Star card is that wish fulfillment, right? I guess it's presumptuous of me, Gemini, to just assume y'all would know what the star means um wish fulfillment right it is really a card of letting you know gemini that you are on the right path right absolutely uh so really good foreshadowing when it comes to this reading all right so for any of my gemini's that are having some type of fear or anxiety as if they are not making uh ground in the right way or they feel like they're going backwards in life you absolutely are not gemini you are perfect you're at you're exactly at where you need to be in this moment i truly do feel that gemini the star card would not show up in your overall energy if that wasn't the case so take um take some relief in that hopefully so the actual cards that I pulled for you. We pulled three tarot cards for you as well as one animal oracle card for you, Gemini. And the animal oracle card that I pulled for you was the Wombat Spirit, which would be number is 68 for numerology, which would be five for which would be equaling to five for numerology. So write that down, Gemini, to look up later. But the Wombat Spirit says to be at home. This card's actually shown up. I don't remember if this shown up before for you, Gemini, or a different sign. But um, definitely this seems to be addressing the home life for a lot of you Gemini is what spirit's trying to really relay. So this is where it gets really interesting, right? Um, because we have to keep in mind with that star card, that wish fulfillment, right? Keeping that in mind, we have the nine of cups coming in twice for you, uh, Gemini. So what does the nine of cups mean? It is that card of being extremely content, feeling at peace with yourself, feeling really... I feel like things in your home life are finally going to start working out is some is a very specific message that I'm getting, Gemini, especially with this four of cups coming in here, where it's like there, I do feel like there's this been this sense, Gemini, of where you probably have been looking at your home life. And I don't know if there's like maybe insecurity is too strong of a word, Gemini. But what I am getting is where this sense of like looking back at just kind of like reflecting and taking a look at your home life and wondering if there's something more that you can do or maybe you're trying to get to that nine of cups moment of where you are feeling completely content where your emotional needs are met um and just feeling at peace with the connections that you have in your life but it's interesting it's interesting to have that energy be the main focus for that general message but then we have we consider it with the star card i do feel like there's something this is kind of giving like a sign, Gemini, of where, <sighs> excuse me, I do feel like this is a sign somewhat of saying or implying rather that something big in a good way 
is going to be happening in your home life or something happening in your actual life that affects your home life, if that makes sense, right? Regardless, whatever it is, I just see, I see some type of positive action, some positive movement in regards to that. So uh, we do have the Ten of Swords that did pop out for you, Gemini. So maybe you guys are going through... Um, finally healing through some type of like pain that's happened in your family life recently. I don't know if someone in your family recently was, um, with, with this Ten of Swords, it is kind of that, it is that dramatic energy. I mean, literally this woman has her Ten of Swords stabbed in her back. This is like an energy where someone in, someone's really dealt with some type of pain, some type of hurdle. Um, it could have been from some type of outside um, source, meaning like another person, but I do see like, it's almost like the sun. <laughs> I promise you it wasn't intentional. I was going to say finally like seeing the sun rise again after like a really long, like rough, cold night or something like that. And then the sun card was like the card that was struggling to like shuffle. But I promise you, Gemini, that wasn't intentional, but... I mean, the sun card is the best card in the deck. I really do feel like it's the sense of where the sun's finally just coming up. It's finally starting to shine in terms of your home life. So that home life, you know, I keep on speaking in terms of family, Gemini, but you know, this could just be in the sense of like, maybe like you, your finances are just going to start looking up. And so now you have like a sense of security in your home life, right? You would, you would get a better idea of where um, this Ten of Swords is associated with in your life because I feel like it's more so like overcoming something more so than just like something just naturally just happening. I feel like the, the positive is you seeing something from the other side of it, right? It's finally seeing the sun rise again after such a rough night. Um, so very interesting spread right there, Gemini. Let's start looking at now what it is that you should be looking out for, Gemini. Was it What is it that you should be paying attention to right now back of the deck energy is the three of swords Ooh. honey y'all gemini have been going through some type of pain recently y'all have been definitely going through some transitions definitely dealing with the matters of the heart the stuff that's been holding you've held close to you right ugh. <laughs> i may i go uh just because it's like I can just even see from this perspective, Gemini, how difficult it must be to just like maintain everything because we have the three cards that I pulled for you. The lover's card just lets me know of like the impact of this, uh, Gemini, more so just like the situation in your life. The lovers, I mean, obviously could deal with a person, Gemini. I mean, this is your card, but I kind of see this more so like as a sign of like, I mean, lovers, intimate or platonic, I see this more so emphasizing just how much you care about, like how much this energy is, how much, what's the word for it? Just how intimate this energy is to you, how much you just care for it. Um, Knight of Swords comes in as well, aware. I do feel like there is just this sense of like conflicted thoughts. There's this sense of where you don't know really what to where to go with this, what decision to make when it comes to this situ some type of situation. The world card lets me know where I do feel like this, this change is actively happening. So there, there's probably this sense, Gemini, of feeling a little bit overwhelmed. This sense of where you are running on borrowed time is something that I'm hearing. So it's interesting. It's interesting to have this set up. Let's go into this a little bit further, see what um, insight that we can get. Two of rings or two of pentacles does pop up, which is not really surprising to me, right? Two, I mean, in this deck, the artwork is so gorgeous and so serene looking that it doesn't really do justice to what's actually happening uh, or what justice to what the two of pentacles actually means, um, where it's like kind of like dealing with like the chaos and like kind of having your plate full. Gemini, kind of just in this place of being pulled every which way, probably almost. And it's just this sense of trying to just maintain a level head while going through all this. And it probably just feels like such an impossible task for you. So let's continue getting some more tarot messages. Honey, I don't know if y'all even saw it, but it's never a reading with me unless these, some cards go flying, right? <clears throat> All right, I think I already got all the cards now. All right, 
So, are we taking these? Yeah, we're taking these. All right. So, Gemini, the three cards that came out, <laughs> I'm not going to say I shuffled them because they just flew out, honey. Um, the Page of Pentacles. So, there does seem to be this push of... Hmm... I actually feel like I might need a couple more cards. Let's see, what deck do we want to use, honey? Uh, we're going to use the Necronomicon as well for this. Because we pulled the page of... I guess I just don't need to uh, shuffle. The card's just falling straight out. Alright, so let's break down these cards before I um, or show you these cards. Page of Pentacles, right? So there is this sense of communication, wanting to communicate, wanting to extend out your pentacle to something or somebody taking a chance on something. The Hermit card comes through as well. Some self-reflection, some kind of keeping to yourself. This is why it's like a little bit like, oh, what does this mean, right? Because it's like Page of Pentacles, you want to communicate, but the Hermit card is probably what's happening now where you're kind of like closing off um, not really being social, but action needs to be taken. Judgment. I feel like the action happens with this page of pentacles, but right now you're in the state of the hermit, it feels. Three of Cups comes in as the clarifier, where it does feel like there's something that you need, something that need, that Gemini wants to say to like a group of people. Now, if we're going to associate it with that home life, Gemini, it does feel as if like, I don't like to you. I guess it is the only word I can really say. It's like it does seem to be almost like a sense of an ultimatum, Gemini, of where you're kind of like in this state of where you want to say something to people that you care about and you realize that's like the next proper step for you to take, but there's this hesitation, this Four of Cups, where it's just like, you don't, there's, there's this this pause, right? There's with this Hermit energy as well, like you don't want to communicate with it. You want to just kind of stay closed off from it. You want to kind of just stay reclused. And so if we're going to consider all of this for this spread, Gemini, what I would be really getting from this is that there does seem to be this push for you to communicate Gemini, there does seem to be this push of taking action and to get out of this hermit phase, right? I do kind of get this sense, Gemini, that there is a level of, um, there's this, a level of, let's see, before I speak too much, but yeah, there is just this level, Gemini, of where I feel like you're responsible for this next phase of your home life to look better because here's the thing i feel like with the wombat spirit coming in with that nine of cup with these two nine of cups right you're you're the one taking action in terms of finding that peace with your home life gemini right it's not really speaking about you know there's not really too much pentacle energy like the only pentacle energy that we have coming in here is like letting you know like how chaotic and how full your hands are nothing really uh grounding this energy bringing it to the earth um i do feel like it's because of this lack of action i do feel like it's because just like this hesitation towards um just opening up to it perhaps for some of you gemini's you haven't been able to overlook something five of cups with the empress card there's this level where you perhaps can't overlook past the actions of somebody or a group of people or just something like something you just can't get over something and it's like unless it's addressed you can't continue on with this and i do feel like you have to kind of take action on this gemini like it's not going to solve itself you have there is this sense of where you do have to take matters into your own hands and break out of that hermit energy as much as you want to kind of stay reclused so um take that as you will so let's get into what blessings that we can look forward to for Gemini. What is it that Gemini can look forward to out of everything going on here? Let's see. So the three cards that came out for you, Gemini, we have the Nine of Wands coming in for you, as well as the Eight of Cups, and then the Nine of Pentacles. So, <clears throat> really good cards to have. What we have really to look forward to, Gemini, is it does seem to be when you move on from something, when you go to search for bigger and better waters, which is what this Ace of Eight of Cups is the representation of, Gemini, 
it does seem to be promising, right? It does seem to be there's like a reward for whatever risk that it is that you're considering of taking. So this would be like, for example, Gemini, if you've been thinking about um, moving, even trying to just change your home life entirely, creating a completely new home life for yourself, right? Leaving this uh, comfortable waters to search for something bigger and better. This Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands comes in as affirmation that things would really work out beautifully for you right it is this there is this push again of just solo energy like nine keeps popping up for you in your reading so i would kind of just suggest to look that up as well for numerology gemini but um with this nine of pentacles right you're able to just like sustain yourself like now that i'm thinking about it you have every single good nine the only nine that you're missing from the suit is the nine of swords which is uh, honestly a positive thing because the nine of swords is anxiety so your emotional needs are met um gemini right and it's coming through you right there's this similar theme where it's just about you right even though we talk about the home life and i talk about like outside energies um all the happiness all the like focus of the result is more so just about you and like you being your family home life right um so nine of cups your emotional needs are met um you just feel content at peace nine of pentacles you are able you feel self-sufficient right nine of wands you feel really just in your element you feel challenged but in a positive way you it's just like a it's just this beautiful energy of really finding yourself, really growing into such a beautiful person, right? Very much so reflective of that em Empress energy, uh, Gemini. So definitely, it seems to be a situation where there's a lot of good coming to you, a lot of good uh, potentially around you, Gemini, but you have to be the one to make the judgment call. You have to be the one to kind of break out of that hermit energy and to really speak what it is or do whatever it is this page of pentacles um represents for you right page of pages represents new beginnings right and so even through like speaking about like you know even if it's just about setting boundaries with people right gemini there's just like this push overall for you to just communicate your wants communicate and just taking action right and i just feel like things just pan out so beautifully for you when you ask for more this is really what it seems to be it's like when you ask for more gemini you get more and so why not continue in that pattern so yeah gemini this reading that i have for you i hope there are some cards that are that were of resonance with you in this reading if it was if there was be sure to give it a like and subscribe to this video be sure and be sure my gosh gemini be sure to share this video with a friend that you think might be into my messages until next time gemini i love you so much bye